Hi, Assalamualaikum and a very good morning. We are still in chapter 2, Thermochemistry, but now we are in the start of peak of 2.1 concept of enthalpy. But now we are in currently in part 2 of the video. So, in this video, we're going to look into the definition and also writing the thermochemical equation for each of the following enthalpies. So, without any further ado, let us start. So, there are many kinds of enthalpies, such as enthalpy of formation, enthalpy of combustion, Enthalpy of atomization, enthalpy of neutralization, and enthalpy of hydration as well as enthalpy of solution. So we're going to look into each and every one of these in this following slide. Enthalpy of formation. And now, but now we are referring to the standard enthalpy of formation. So the standard enthalpy of formation is basically the heat change, where the heat change here can be a positive value or a negative value. Right? When one mole of a compound is formed, so one mole of compound is being formed means that it is a product from its element under the standard condition. So standard condition here refers to the standard enthalpy of formation, where it happens at 25 degrees Celsius and at 1 atm. Example, if you are having uh, one mole of hydrogen gas reacting with oxygen to form one mole of water, and the heat of formation or the standard enthalpy of formation given here is negative 286 kilojoule per mole. Or you can have carbon reacting with hydrogen gas to form one mole of C2H4, which is ethene, and the heat of formation is positive 52.3 kilojoule per mole. As I mentioned, the heat change can be positive value or a negative value. All right. And you need to be very careful here because it says that one mole of a compound is formed. So you need to ensure that your product or the compound that you are forming is in the mole of one mole. You cannot write it as H2 plus O2 hitting 2H2O here. So this one is not the definition of the standard enthalpy of formation. Because standard enthalpy of formation refers to one mole of a compound is formed. If you write it to here, it means two mole of a compound is formed. So you really need to be careful. Okay? And as a result, from here to here, you need to divide by two. So that's why it become half. One become one over two. Two become one. Alright? And the other information that you need to know, the standard enthalpy of formation of any element in its most stable form is zero. So any element here refers to the same type of atom. For example, oxygen and oxygen, same type of uh, same type of atom, which consists of the same element, gonna have zero. And it is oxygen is stable state. Chlorine and chlorine, also zero. All right. Now we're moving forward to the standard enthalpy of combustion. So we really need to understand the definition very very strongly. So the the standard enthalpy of combustion refers to the heat release. So when talking about heat release, it only refers to the negative value. When one mole of substance is burned completely in excess oxygen. So one mole of substance is burned completely in excess oxygen. So you know that it is a reactant reacting with oxygen in order to form product. And it happens under standard condition, which is 25 degrees Celsius and 1 atm. Um, as the definition of standard enthalpy of combustion. So, for example, if you have carbon reacting with oxygen producing carbon dioxide. So, we need to have one mole of carbon is being burned in excess oxygen in order to form carbon dioxide. And as mentioned, the enthalpy is the heat release. So, it needs to have a negative value because during combustion, the energy is always being released to the surrounding, which refers to a pembakaran. So, haba akan dibebaskan ke persekitaran oh, the students around it. And the same here, um, one mole of substance, which is ethanol here, um, reacting with oxygen to form carbon dioxide and water. And the heat of combustion is still negative. Alright? One mole and one mole. Okay? Now, we look into the standard enthalpy of atomization. So, what is meant by this? So, atomization means that the heat absorbed. So, when you're talking about absorb, you, uh, you always refer to a positive value. When one mole of gaseous atom is formed from its element, 
So dalam pada elemen, dia pergi kepada atom dalam fasa gas. Dan dia hanya berlaku pada standard condition 25 degree Celsius and at 1 atm. So the standard enthalpy of atomization delta H E refers to atomization uh, is always positive because it involves bond bond breaking. So heat is needed in order to break the bond in between one atom to another atom. So it's always positive. For example, an a solid and an a gas. So in solid, the particles are arranged very closely packed. But in gas, they are very far apart. So heat is needed in order to break the bond in between the particles and that is why the heat is always positive which is plus 109 kilojoule per mole and you can also use the example of half Cl2 going into Cl all right and come back to the definition again it says that the heat absorbed when one mole of gases atom is formed so the product need to be only one mole Mesti one mole dekat depan dia. Alright? And that is why you cannot write Cl2 gas going to 2Cl gas. Because this is not the definition. We have to get into one mole. Because we are doing per mole. Satu mole lah menghasilkan 1, 2, 3 kJ mole. Alright? Next one is the standard enthalpy of neutralization. So the standard enthalpy of neutralization is the heat release, which refers to a negative enthalpy, when one mole of water, H2O, is formed from the neutralization. So product there must be one mole of water, which is H2O, uh, of acid and base under the standard condition. Alright, because we are referring to a standard enthalpy. So example, HCl and NaOH produces NaCl plus water. So one mole of water is being produced and given the enthalpy, of the neutralization is negative 557.5 kilojoule per mole. So the importance here is it needs to be one molar. Alright? Then the enthalpy of hydration, delta H not height or hydration. So the heat release, which refer to negative, when one mole of gases ion hydrated in water under standard condition. So example, an A plus gas hydrated in water to form Na plus aqueous. So it need to be one mole here. And the process here is a negative value because it's a uh, heat is being released to the surrounding. All right? And standard enthalpy of solution. So the standard enthalpy of the solution is the heat change, which means it can be a positive value or it can be a negative value when one mole of substance is completely dissolved in water to form a very dilute solution under standard condition. So example, if we have um, one mole of substance, which is KCl here, dissolved in water K plus and Cl minus, and it will form a very dilute solution. Dilute solution of KCl. And in this case here, it is an endothermic reaction, which it gives a positive 690 kilojoule per mole. Alright, and as mentioned, it can also be positive or negative depending on the situation. Alright, now we're going to look into the thermochemical equation. So thermochemical equation is basically a balanced chemical equation that shows the enthalpy change of the reaction uh, with its value and sign written on the right hand side of the equation. So, you must have the equation, for example, solid water, which is ice, going into liquid water. Alright, and the thermochemical equation must have the enthalpy on the right-hand side. And it is important, the phases, for example, solid, going into liquid, must be specified at this point. Alright, and for the thermochemical equation, for a reverse reaction, the magnitude of delta H for the equation remains the same. Maksudnya, value itu masih sama. Okay, kalau kita ubah position, liquid pergi solid pula, aero tu berubah, uh, magnitude atau value dia masih sama. Yang berubah adalah dia punya sign. Positive going to be negative. Alright? So, if you are doing uh, H2O liquid going into solid, you will see that the magnitude is the same. 
But what changes is the sign from positive to negative because we are changing the direction. All right? Now, if the thermochemical equation is multiplied by a factor of A, then the delta H must be multiplied by the same factor. Okay? If everything is, uh, if the stoichiometry from 1 changes into A, everything must be multiplied by A. The equation itself and also the value of the magnitude. So example, H2O solid into H2O liquid will have positive 601 kilojoule per mole. And if we were to multiply that by 2, um, the, thermo, uh, the thermochemical equation will also be multiplied by 2. Same goes to the uh, thermochemical value here. So 2 times 6.01 will get 12.02 kilojoule per mole. Now we're going to determine the heat of the reaction from the change in the standard enthalpy of formation values of reactant and product. So, the standard enthalpy of the reaction is the sum of the standard enthalpy of the formation of the product minus the sum of the standard enthalpy of formation of the reactant. Okay, where M and N here refers to the amounts or mole of the product, M refers to the product, and N refers to the reactant, indicated by the coefficient from the balance equation all right in order to determine this easier let us look into the example all right so the oxidation of ammonia gives a balanced chemical reaction is shown four mole of ammonia reacting with five mole of oxy oxygen to form four and o plus six mole of water and the heat of the formation of ammonia is negative 49 negative 45.9 kJ per mole. Oxygen, which is uh, at the most stable state, will give zero. Uh, and O will, will have positive 90.3 kJ per mole. And for water, have negative 241.8 kJ per mole. So in order to find the heat of the reaction, um, we need to look at the enthalpy here, where the red color here refers to the reactant and the green color here refers to the product. All right? So we have to use the formula of the summation of the product minus the summation of the heat of formation of the reactant. So for, we look into the product first, right? So because product minus reactant, 4 multiplied by NO's, NO value, which is 4 uh, multiplied by NO plus 6 multiplied by H2O minus 4 multiplied by ammonia, formation of ammonia, and 5 multiplied by heat formation of oxygen. So now we need to substitute the value. 4 uh, multiplied by 90, 6 multiplied by H2O here, which is the value here, negative 241.8, minus 4 multiplied by NH3, which is negative 45.9, plus 5 multiplied by 0. Okay, so once we do the math, uh, we will get negative 906 kilojoule per mole. Alright, and what you really need to be careful here is you, you need to substitute it correctly and do not forget the negative signs and positive signs because usually people will make mistake there or they wrongly substitute the value into the incorrect position. Alright, so I think that's all for today's video. And as what you can see in this video, you have learned about the types of enthalpy, which you have six of them. And then you also look into the thermochemical equation. When you reverse the equation, the sign will change from positive to negative. And when you multiply the equation by a value of A, the enthalpy also will change uh, by multiplying of A. And then we also learn about the heat of the reaction uh, by finding the difference between the heat of the formation of the product minus the reactant. Alright, that's all for today's video. See you again another time. Bye!